Welcome to Kim's Creations and a special episode where Marie Louise of Marie Louise Art and I challenge each other to a pleated swipe. So I have no idea how she's going to go about doing hers, but the inspiration for mine is Cindy Vanderveen and I watched her two years ago do some amazing transfer swipes. So that is what I'm going to do. So I have a 10 by 10 inch uh, cradle wood board. It's taped off on the sides. And then I have a six inch tile over here that I'm gonna bloom on. So I'm gonna transfer onto this, the bloom from that. We're gonna get some pleats in, we're gonna do some swirls, and we're gonna hope to heck that this works. Yeah, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I'm gonna get my gloves on while I go over the colors. This is gonna be my base color, which I'm going to put on here right now. And this is a combination of uh, Burnt Sienna from Amsterdam. I put in a lot of uh, Titanium White by Amsterdam, a little bit of Burnt Umber as well, and got this color. This one here is Master's Touch Orange that I also lightened up with Titanium White. Um, I just mixed up TLP Mermaid to get this beautiful blue-green color, which I think will just zhuzh all this up. My yellow is a mix of a tiny blob of Golden's Benzamidazolone Yellow Light and Artist Loft Naples Yellow. Next up is um, Deco Art. Uh, what was this one? Uh, it was Folk Art, sorry, Folk Art Treasure Gold in Copper that I had mixed up for a previous pour as a cell activator and it failed. So I'm gonna use it as a color in this. And my kind of cherry pinky red is a combination of Liquitex, cadmium red, deep hue, and primary red. So get rid of that. I'm gonna use two cell activators. My white is Atelier um, Titanium White. And my black is Lamp Black from uh, Amsterdam and they are mixed two to one. Or the cell activator, sorry, is mixed at a ratio of two parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint-ish. All right, Woo, let's see. So first I want to put my base down on here and it's not really gonna be a pillow. I'm just going to cover my substrate. I'm going to put that over here for a second and let's get my tile in. Okay. All right, I think I'm gonna put the yellow down first. In the interest of time, I'm gonna speed through the layering of the colors on my tile. And as I already went through them, you'll know which ones they are. I've got this, which I'm going to use to swipe. I'm gonna do the two CAs. Um, I think I'm gonna do white. I think I'm gonna do like white on one side and black on the other with some overlap, of course.
of our dreams I really don't care if you are here or if Okay, let's get all this out of the way. So here's my my palette knife as it looks. And just turn this a little bit. So I'm just transferring the leading edge from the white to the black. Oh, wow. Well, the black worked really well. Ah, what a mess. Crazy mess. All right, let's get this. Try to move things out of the way. So now we got to get that onto this. Sitting here. Oh Lord. So Cindy used um, math cards. She used playing cards. I used, I don't know, cardboard or going, I'm going to use cardboard that I've had that comes in these packs with the canvases as my swiping shovel tool. I'm gonna scoop up some of this that I just put down. And it can be a bit of a flow extender for me. All right, so I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't use the white. Should I use the white first? Well, I kind of scoop the black though. I'm gonna scoop up some white here. All right, I'm dumping. I'm waffling. All right, let's scoop. Oh gosh. And then I'm going to do Looks kind of cool. Okay, let's scoop some more. What a way to start the day. Ah! Not paying attention to my tile. Been 
We gotta go in through here. I'm going to be cutting out a large part of what happens from here moving forward, but I end up creating more blooms on the little tile and doing a lot more transfers. And then I also end up doing some embellishing of the piece. So you'll get to see snippets of it as we move forward. I spent maybe half an hour just um, using my skewer to embellish. And then when I was done, I made sure my edges were all covered and my piece is done. I was uh, very happy with how this turned out in the end. I had so much fun doing it. I learned a lot. And now I do have to admit it did not dry well just because of the amount of paint that was on the uh, board. Thank you so much for being here with Marie Louise and myself and these collabs and uh, if you have not seen Marie Louise, please go check out her channel. Her link is in the description below. And if you missed her video, her video will be there as well. If you're not subscribed, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. See you next time.